It's veggie night for the boys. I bought a little mixed veggie packet, so I've got some fresh cauliflower and broccoli and carrots. You can hear everybody's kind of munching away on their regular food, but I'm gonna add some veggies in and uh, give them a little something extra. I just missed it, but Grayson just ripped an entire broccoli off the kebab. And we've got Flint and Corby over here going to town. I didn't really put it in a spot that's easy to see, but I thought I'd give them a little bit of a challenge, give them something to work for. And then we've got Gray going crazy again. <laughs> He's not content to just take a little couple bites like everybody else. He's got to try and rip the entire thing off. Look at that balance. Standing here, he's got one foot on this. You guys going crazy for your veggies? Everybody up here is just eating away. I don't know what Decker has. Sounds like something crunchy. And I just cleaned out the whole cage and put all new um, um, wood shavings, but I also put a ton new, of new newspaper and um, paper towel on there to give them some more bedding because I cleared out kind of their nests, so I wanted to give them. <laughs> Gray, you don't need to be so aggressive. So, we got lots of cozy stuff and lots of food and lots of veggies, so. I'm just checking on Tribble because he and Flint just got into it. I want to make sure he's okay. You good, bud? Did you get some veggies, little boy? How's my handsome man? What's going on over here? I put some bedding over here and they've kind of ripped a bunch of holes in it. Somebody's going for some broccoli. Oh, and then they're working at this toy here. It's kind of hard to see, but they have to lift the lids to get the food inside. They're really good at that one, but they seem to enjoy it, so. <laughs> Great. Now Gray's moved on to the other one. Apparently he's just going to do his best to rip all of the veggies off and then eat them later. And this is a bird foraging toy. It's not really slowing them down right now because they've kind of shredded most of the cardboard. And I've got replacements, but I'll probably wait a while to refill it. And you can see this isn't really too much of a challenge for him either, but just gives him something to do anyway. So few new foraging toys for the boys. Well, not new, but they haven't had fresh veggies on their sticks in a while, so. There's trouble going for a bite. I don't think I've given them broccoli yet. I've given them carrots, but I don't think I've given them broccoli and cauliflower, so. New experience, so. I think they're excited. I'm just watching Flint again to make sure he doesn't feel the need to pick on Tribble. Yeah, 
I'm gonna let them settle in for the night. Eat their veggies. Cutie pies. What are you doing, Goblin? You ain't no trouble. Apparently everybody's gonna be up here right now except for Trouble. I feel like he likes to chill by himself. I like to have two of everything since there's so many of them so that if one of them's being a jerk, they can't keep all the other rats away and kind of hog everything. So I tried to, I mean, I feel like this is kind of, I put them on opposite ends of the cage and on different levels so no one can really hog all the veggies. And this one's kind of nice because they can get at it from multiple different places, so, and levels. So, and I've got some extra, so later this week I'll probably give them the rest. Yeah, the boys are clearly very much enjoying veggie night. There's my boy. Hi, Angel. Hi, Tribble. You already came out. They already had their free room for tonight, so don't let the sad faces fool you. They've been out for like an hour while I clean the cage, so. All right, I'm gonna leave these guys to their veggies. See you next time.